guys and good morning. I mean, not probably good morning for all of you watching, but it is definitely a good morning for me. The sun actually just rose like maybe 45 minutes ago. So the lighting is coming in through my windows right now. So I thought that I would turn on my camera and record a get ready with me because today I'm going to Bush Gardens with my family. Bush Gardens is an amusement park here in Tampa. It's really, really popular. I'm sure some of you have heard about it. Um, I'm really tired. My brain is totally off right now. Like I literally woke up brushed my teeth, took a shower, and that's it. Now I'm sitting here. I've been awake for maybe 20 minutes. My allergies go crazy this time of year, so when I wake up in the morning, my eyes are red and swollen. I put in eye drops, um, and my face is like puffy. Like, my entire face when I wake up is so swollen. Like, my eyes are puffy, my face is puffy, and my even my lips are puffier. Like, it's crazy. Like, in the morning, my lips are, like, bigger and plumper, and then within an hour, they go down to, like, their regular size. But I'm, like, so swollen when I first wake up from allergies. Anyways, for today's video, it's not going to be super-duper exciting. This is going to be just my everyday look. Don't mind me. I'm going to spray this, um... This is called the Rita Hazan Root Concealer Touch-Up Spray. I have mine in the shade brown slash dark brown slash black, and I literally just spray this right here on my hairline in the morning before I do my makeup, Um, because if I do it afterwards, it turns into a total mess, but I do not like my hairline, <laughs> the hairline that God gave me, so <laughs> Rita Hazan gave me a product to fix that. <laughs> But yeah, as I was saying, today is not going to be a super duper exciting video because as you can see, I'm just sitting here with a puffy face and a very deep early morning voice. <laughs> um, and I'm going to just be doing my kind of everyday makeup look, throwing together the makeup look that I do all the time when I'm leaving the house. This is not like an everyday just like tinted and moisturizer and concealer look. Don't get me wrong. I'm going to do lashes. I'm going to do something glam, but it's going to be the easiest glam possible with the most minimal steps possible to save time because this is the look that I run to on a weekly basis. Let's just and get started. I'm going to prime my face with the Elsie Pearl Radiance Primer today just because it's one of my faves. I'm also going to go in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I used to be so obsessed with this stuff. Like I think I went through two bottles and I just didn't ever go back to it for some reason, but Smashbox sent a PR package. Ooh, hold on. <laughs> okay, one more for good health. Smashbox sent a PR package like a week ago with a, about a week ago, a week ago. But it was just like this big box filled with like all of their primers and that was in there and I was like, oh my God, whatever happened to this stuff? Why did I stop using it in the first place? So I thought that I would give it a whirl again and see if I still like it. Okay, so for today, I'm actually gonna be trying the new, I don't know how new it is, but it's the Dior. Dior Skin Forever Foundation. Recently, I've been hearing so many incredible things about this foundation, and my friends have been obsessed with it, so I'm like, you know what, I need to try it. So I went out and I bought a couple of shades, and I actually put it on yesterday for the first time, and wore it for maybe like, I don't know, 20 minutes. So I actually am really excited to try this foundation again today for real, and like give it a fair chance, because it looks like it's gonna be really beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and Dab this on the face. I'm going to use my round synthetic kabuki brush. This is the Morphe M439. And buff that into the skin. It is definitely like it goes on like a sheer to medium coverage, which when I was applying it yesterday, I was like, oh god, I don't like that because I'm definitely like a full coverage kind of whore. It's too early for whore. It's not, it's not acceptable, Jack. Like, get it together. I personally think that it has a very, very natural finish to it. It's not dewy and it's not a chalkboard matte for sure. I'm gonna use a little bit more on a little bit more of a smaller brush. This is the Morphe E8, just because there are certain areas that I want more coverage. So I'm gonna go in with a more precise brush and just get the coverage that I desire. I never film videos as soon as I wake up in the morning. Like it feels so different. But now that I've got my camera equipment at home, I was like, hey, why not? Like I thought about it last night before I went to bed. I was like, I should just wake up before everybody else and film a video before we go out for the day. Because typically I wouldn't even put makeup on for something like this, like going to an amusement park. Like those of you who meet me in person know, like <laughs> when you meet me out in person, there is a 98% chance that I'm not gonna have any makeup on whatsoever. That's just how I do because for me, Typically, I'm either gonna be full beat or I'm gonna look like I just, like, am a cast member of The Walking Dead. I'm gonna grab the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Medium because I do have a spray tan right now. My friend Jackie sprayed me the other night. Gosh, I absolutely love having a, a friend who knows how to spray tan and she just comes over, like, she'll just text me and be like, hey girl, 
I'm a mile away from your house. Want a tan? I'm like, yes, please. I am so obsessed with this beauty sponge. It's the one that I showed in my first impressions video. It's the new one by Morphe that one side is pointed and one side has like this sharpness. I'm obsessed. Like my other beauty blender, I don't even know where it is. I don't even know. Ever since I tried this one, the other one is retired. Okay, honestly, like I'm shocked right now. My skin looks like a baby's ass. Like it looks like it did when I was born. Where are we? We are doing powder. Powder. Jacqueline, time for your brain to wake up. I didn't make myself coffee before sitting down in front of this camera, nothing. And normally I make myself coffee every single morning. I have an espresso machine and I make myself um, decaf. I make myself a decaf iced vanilla latte every single morning. I'm obsessed. If you guys make your own coffee at home, I would really highly recommend the Nordstrom coffee. Oh my gosh, I'm going in with the Giorgio Armani um, Luminous Silk Powder. It's the only one that matches me right now with my spray tan. But Nordstrom Coffee, and you can buy it online, I'm pretty sure, if you don't have a Nordstrom next to you. Trust me when I say it is the best coffee in the world. Like, it's even better when you go to Nordstrom and get it. Like, every time I go shopping at Nordstrom, I have to, have to, have to go and get a decaf iced latte. Because holy guacamole, like, it's so good that I sip it and cherish every single sip. Because I could drink, like, a gallon of it. It's the best coffee ever. I'm freaking out right now. My skin is like, mm, 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 mm. Like a baby's ass, people. Like a baby's ass. I'm gonna go in with the Alexis Ren and ColourPop highlighter and bronzer. Ooh, looks like this. I used it in my first impressions video and I quickly have fallen in love with it. And I actually use this bronzer as a eyeshadow basically on the daily now because I just love the color of it. It's such a beautiful, like warm undertone, like orangey based bronzer. And I know orange is not like a color that you wanna hear when you think of bronzer, but. Having that undertone in it really just gives you so much warmth to the face. It's such a summery glow. So I have been using that as eyeshadow the past week or two and I love it on just a natural daily basis. I'm gonna be using the R37, which is a Morphe brush, but it's from the Rose Gold Collection. This has been one of my favorites the past couple of weeks just for this initial color right here, which I'm not doing anything else today. Like as you're gonna see, my eyeshadow application is gonna be easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm just popping this in the crease area and then just like basically whatever is left over my brush is kind of blending it everywhere. Cause this doesn't need to be perfect. It can be a little messy. It doesn't matter. Like we're just keeping this casual, just an everyday, very casual, just kind of like beautiful sexual glam. A matte brown and I'm gonna be going in with my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. Look at how dingy this palette looks. There's lashes stuck all over it. I have been using this bad boy right here for, oh my God. This particular one, I would say five months I've been using this, so it is really gnarly. It will be coming soon, you guys, all in due time, but I'm going to be grabbing a little tiny brush and just a matte brown. I'm gonna be going in with a pretty dark matte brown. Let me get just a tiny bit on my brush. And all I'm gonna do is just flicker this on just the outer part of my eye, only on my lashes, just right there. And then just kind of go back and forth and slightly blend it upward just for a little added definition just so the eyes don't look super duper naked this will just give a little something something i'm going to go back in with that bronzer that i used initially and i'm just going to blend that on my lower lash line Okay, with that same dark brown, I'm just gonna pop that right on the lower lash area, just mainly on the outer corner of the eye because on a day-to-day -day basis, unless I'm doing something super smoky, I really don't wanna bring a lot of depth inward because it can just make my eyes look kind of small and beady. So I like to keep everything dark more on the outer portion of the eye to look more awake and fresh. And then I'm just gonna blend that back and forth and downward. All right, I'm just gonna put some mascara on my upper lashes. I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black because it is so black and I love it. It's one of my favorite mascaras. I had to put on <laughs> literally a bathrobe because I'm so cold. Ugh, Florida's having really chilly weather right now and it's like, what's the temperature? It's currently 53 degrees, which is freezing for us. And my house 
will not warm up. So my house is currently 65 degrees, so I'm really, really cold. I am gonna be applying lashes today. I'm gonna be using the Flutter Lash, <laughs> the style Intoxicating, because these are my personal favorite for like a glam situation. I freaking love the Slaylas as well, but like I want something like va boom today. So I'm gonna go with Intoxicating Lash. While I'm waiting for my lash glue to dry, I'm just going to highlight my brow bone really quickly. I can find a brush that's suitable for this. I'm gonna go in with the Ofra highlight in the shade Beverly Hills and just mix the two lightest ones together, this one and this one. You have to be careful with these because they are so ultra creamy that if you like put just a little bit too much pressure on it with your brush, it will destroy the highlight. I saw that Nikki is collaborating with Ofra and coming out with a highlight and I cannot wait to see it because I really have been a fan of this Beverly Hills one by Ofra so I can't wait to see what she has done. Like look at that, that highlight is no joke. I'm gonna start off by applying this lash coming downward. Everyone is always saying how applying lashes are so hard and it's really not, you have to come downward, set it on top, you can see like it's not secure at all. Then I will close my eye and I will just place it right there. Don't use tweezers. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> There's tons of lash application tools that you can use that are much safer than tweezers, but I just do this because I'm such a rebel. Okay, while I'm letting the lash glue get tacky on the other lash, I'm going to apply some white eyeliner in my waterline. This is the MAC Eye Coal in the shade Fascinating. I'm gonna put some mascara on my lower lashes. I'm using the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Ooh, because it is my favorite mascara for the lower lashes. It just gets every single lash so well. Okay, so now for the face, I'm gonna go in with the same bronzer that I use on my eyes and I'm going to just grab a bronzer brush. This is the Morphe R2, which has been my obsession. I love this bronzer so much, you guys, and it's so inexpensive. It's just so beautiful. Like I can use it when I'm really fair or I can use it. Do you hear how much I'm like, I am blending so hard. I'm like shaking. I'm like, I can use it when I'm really fair. No, but seriously, I can use it when I'm really fair. And then I have my spray tan right now. So I'm pretty much the darkest that I get. And I can use it at this color as well, which I just love. Like I love that I can use it when I'm super light and when I'm super dark. Well, not super dark, but you know, when I've got my tan, my version of super dark. I'm not kidding you guys. This brush is everything. Don't sleep on it. I'm so obsessed with this brush. It's one of my favorite bronzer brushes. Like, you know, I'm so committed to my Tom Ford bronzer brush, like committed. But for example, like I washed all my brushes. What? Oh gosh. It's been like a full two weeks and this is still clean. I haven't even used it. That means that on a day-to-day -day basis, I am genuinely reaching for this one over my Tom Ford, which is so weird. Maybe it's just a phase, but I just love this. I love how it applies. I love the shape. I love the bristles, like I'm just obsessed. Okay, now that I did that, my eyebrows look crazy. I'm going to just go ahead and glue them into place with some clear brow gel. I'm going to be using the Anastasia one. I'm just combing through them first. And then get those brows locked and loaded. Oh, my heart is racing because I'm going to Bush Gardens today and we're leaving in an hour, and I know <laughs> that my family's gonna try to pressure me to go on rides and roller coasters, and I'm such a baby. Like, I used to love rides and roller coasters so much, you guys. Oh my God, I would do anything. It didn't matter how high, it didn't matter how intense the drop was or how many times you went upside down. Like, I was just like an adrenaline junkie, and I just loved roller coasters. I would go over and over and over front row. Then something happened when I was like, I don't know, 19, 20, 21, like in that, time period where I just developed this fear, but it sucks because I still want to do it so bad, but I'm like, ah, I can't, I can't. So like I'll do certain rides, but like I can't do the really big ones anymore because I will go into a full blown panic attack. Like I'm not even joking. When I go to Bush Gardens today, I'll take my little backpack and my backpack will be filled with my essential oils because there's a good chance that just looking at the rides will literally give me like real anxiety. Not like, oh my God, no, but like real anxiety. Like it freaks me out. And John, he will do anything. Like he'll do the biggest, scariest roller coaster in the entire world. He's like, oh my God, that's amazing. And I'm just like, <laughs> And I'm going to go back in with the same highlight that I use on my brow bone. And I'm gonna pop a little bit of it in that inner corner just because I can't leave the house without an inner corner highlight. I am going to combine this 
and this. This is the Ofra blush palette. I used this in my first impressions video and I have been using it recently. It's been a while since I've done like a baby doll pink cheek. That's pink. I'm really dying to try this Tom Ford highlight right here. And I know that people are gonna be pissy with me because it's so expensive. It's called the Sheer Highlighting Duo Reflects Guilt, but this swatch like speaks to me on another level and I'm dying to try it. And I just got it in the mail yesterday. Like I bought it from Sephora. I bought a couple of things and I'm super excited to try this too. The Say Hello to Sexy Legs Illuminating Fluid. Oh my God. I swatched it on my arm last night when I got it and it looks gorgeous. <sighs> okay. Oh my god. Oh, yes, god, yes, god, yes. Can't forget the little nosy. Mm -hmm. No, no. Okay, I was not expecting this to turn into such a highlighted situation, but hi, how are you? We have arrived. I'm gonna just grab this Lorac Pro Contour Palette and I'm gonna go in with this yellow highlight shade. It's just a matte powder. I'm gonna pick a little bit of it up and just put it on my under eye. So my under eye does look a little dull in person and I just want a little something under there. I'm just trying to find a brush that's gonna make me happy. For lips, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Likely. I wore this yesterday for like 20 minutes and I loved it. <laughs> the color is so pretty. All right, then for setting spray, I'm gonna be using the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. They sent me this bottle, it's so beautiful. This is what the standard packaging looks like and you can see them at the very, very end of mine right down there. I've gone through so many bottles of this, you guys, I can't. Um, I'm gonna use this to spray my face, but I'm going to avoid my eye area because it does contain oil, so it will make your mascara transfer. Like, if you like open up your eyes really wide or like look down, it'll make your ma mascara transfer to your face in your eye area. So I'm just gonna cover up that area and spritz my cheek. Let me make sure that it's spraying properly. Okay, there we go. All right, you guys, so that completes this video. As you can see, it's super easy. Like, yes, it's full beat. Yes, it's full glam. Yes, there's a lot of steps, but it's still like, it's pretty easy to achieve this. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like the lazy girl's guide to glam. Ooh, did I just come up with a title? Cause I think I did. Mm, yes, that should be the name of my channel. Even though I'm not lazy, <laughs> I have no problem spending three hours beating this face, but still, I really like that name. This foundation literally looks like I don't have pores and I am fine with that. All right, I'm gonna stop talking. I have to run out the door in 45 minutes, which is just enough time to make myself some coffee, shove some food in my mouth, and get dressed and hit the road. So thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me this morning. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.